What up, Big Time Gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one here is a Casio video. So uh, we'll go over all four and what the differences are and how I feel about all four of them. And just kind of show you them. And, uh, you know, one of these got a little history with me, so we'll talk about that one. But uh, we'll do that after the intro. So, I mean, the legendary, the one and only calculator watch. Now, this is a must if uh, you grew up in the 80s. Um, this was a watch that I think most of us wanted. And uh, my buddy Kev hooked it up and got us both one because we both own these in grade school. So, uh, super dope. Thanks, Kev. Um I destroyed this watch actually um, in a mountain bike accident when I was, I don't know, 11 or 12. I uh, I was going really, really fast and I fell really hard and I ground this thing down to nothing. Slid on it basically. So it saved the skin on my wrist for sure, but it didn't uh, handle the, the uh, wear very well. But um there was just one of those watches, man, that I think every kid, at least in my generation, wanted. And uh, this watch is just super dope. It's tiny now, and it's funny because when I used to wear it when I was a kid, it felt like a good size watch. But uh, this thing feels super tiny now. 34 millimeter diameter, 43 millimeter lug to lug, um, 8.2 millimeter thick, not very thick at all. Um, this is an eight-digit calculator, and this is the Casio CA53W. So, uh, these are like 25 bucks. You can find these watches somewhere between 20 and 25. So, I'm going to list the prices, and then at the end of this video, I'll put all four on the wrist. Um, I don't want to do it now because it'll take too much time. I'll put all four on the wrist and show quick wrist shots so you guys can see them on the wrist. So this is my first Casio that I ever owned or a redo of the first one because obviously this is not the original. The original was destroyed, but uh, love this watch. So then we've got the Casio. This one here is the GA2100. And uh, this one I got from my boy Trap, Trap Vision 3D. Check out his channel. Um, he was doing a fundraiser and uh, he was selling this one and I bought it from him. Um, white, this looks good. It's, uh, you know, kind of goes with everything. It's like a wearing a black watch, you know, black or white. You can basically wear with any color you're wearing. And uh, I just like the contrast with the black dial. Um, very good contrast. Now, this is um, a little different than the one behind it. I have another Castillo I'll show you here in a minute. But this one has a day of the week here at the nine o'clock. And then this one does have the um, little light function. You can see that there. Do that again. So very nice. This is um, 53 millimeter. No, sorry. 45.4 millimeter diameter. 48.5 lug to lug and 11.8 millimeters thick so um 51 grams this one weighs and the calculator watch is actually 25 grams so this one's uh, substantially heavier but still very very light and this one retails for 100 dollars. that's what the retail is if you go on to the g-shock site I think they're $99. So then next is my birthday present for my lady. And uh, this one is the big boy G-Shock. This is model GA700SK. This one's also got the light. And this one is just 
wicked. I like the, the clear. I don't have anything else like this. So this one definitely stands out in my collection. And uh, this is a big boy. I mean, you put it next to the Cassie Oak and it's, it dwarfs it. So uh, this one here measures in 53.4 diameter, 57.5 lug to lug, and 18.4 millimeters thick. This one is um, 69 grams, and this one retails for 140 right now on the Casio site. And this one has the uh, full auto calendar until 2099 also, which is a cool feature. So it's solar. It's uh, as long as you get some light on it, you don't even have to have it in the sun. It should stay running for years and years and years. So I love that. And then last but not least is the last Casio I got. This is actually the last Casio I bought. And this is the G-Shock GAB2100. So the difference between this one and this one is this is Bluetooth and um, Tough Solar. So that's the difference between the two. So this one does not have the day of the week at the nine. This one has other functions. And you can see it there, Tough Solar and Bluetooth. Um, this one has a better light too. You see how much more that lit up. Look at that. But uh, I like the blue. It's different. And this one retails for 150 So out of the four I've got, this is the most expensive. And this is the latest one I've gotten. And a big difference for me, what I noticed in quality, is the calculator watch has a plastic buckle. The... Other Cassie Oak has a plastic buckle. This one has a stainless steel buckle. And then my uh, GA700SK has a metal buckle. And I think just having a metal buckle is, you know, more longevity. You're going to get out of the strap as long as the strap itself doesn't break. Because uh, that plastic buckle, I feel like you pry in it a little too hard, you're going to bust it. So um, I love the G-Shocks. And uh, I'll probably own more in the future. But this is my Casio collection for now. So I've got four. And uh, let me know what you guys think. The calculator watch is one that, you know, um, just belongs, man. It's just the OG. So love that one. And then this one was one I always aspired to get. Um, this style. I just always thought they looked so big and beefy. I always wanted one of these. And then the Casios, I mean... I honestly, when I got the first one, this white one, I plan on doing a full metal conversion and making it look like a Royal Oak, but obviously I didn't. And I know for sure now that I won't, but, um, I just kind of saw that get really played out. But when I first got this watch, it's the first thing I thought of was convert it, convert it. But, uh, that's not going to happen now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Just real quick, I just wanted to go over them. I am going to include some wrist shots um, of them, of all four of them on my wrist. And then we'll wrap it up. Have a great day. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. Make sure you drop that hashtag Big Time Gang also. And uh, stay safe out there. And God bless. So here is a GAB2100 on my wrist. I've got three holes left before this watch would be too small for me. So I got plenty of room to grow still. It fits great. The height isn't too bad. This is 11.9 millimeters thick. Not too bad at all. I think the watch is gorgeous. It looks great. Here is the GA2100 on my wrist same thing three holes left to spare same fitment gorgeous watch for a hundred bucks man you can't beat this simplistic but useful and it just looks good and i have an eight and a quarter inch wrist the og the calculator watch same thing, three holes left. 
I got this pretty snug. Look at that bad boy. Tiny little watch. I got it kind of cocked off to one side. I got it really snug. But good looking watch. And just nostalgic. Just gotta have it. So this is a GA700SK on my wrist. The biggest one I own. Three spots left on the strap, just like the rest. That 17.9 thick or 18.4 thick. It's a big boy, but it fits well. Looks good on the wrist. I dig this watch. <laughs>